Hi everyone, it's Katie from stringexpert.com. I want to remind you today that it's important to take private music lessons. Unlike the guitar, which you could easily learn online, the violin requires very specialized instruction. If you move your finger an eighth of an inch the wrong way, you're going to be playing a completely different note. If you move your arm up a fourth of an inch, you could be sounding incredibly squeaky. So you really need specialized instruction. And so I would recommend that everybody who wants to learn to play the violin take private lessons. You can take private lessons from me through Skype. Um, go to stringexpert.com for more information. Today we're going to learn how to set up our violin and how to hold our violin. So the first thing that we need in getting a good setup with the violin is a high quality shoulder rest. The shoulder rest is this device right here. And basically what it does is it attaches to your violin and it stabilizes it. So when you're playing, it makes it easily comfortable and it makes it easier for you to hold your violin and play correctly. A good violin shoulder rest would be like a Kuhn or a Viva brand shoulder rest. They're going to be made with higher quality materials. They're gonna last for 15 to 20 years and they have a great curvature that fits your shoulder, which is very, very important and makes it much easier and much more comfortable in learning how to play. Okay, so we have our shoulder rest here. Now, one side goes on the top of the shoulder and the other side fits down here. And if you get it opposite, like I have right here, then we're not going to have, it's going to make the shoulder rest very uncomfortable, not work very well. So make sure that the highest point of the curve right here is on the left side using your left hand and the lowest point is on the right side right here okay so now once I have the high point and the low point figured out what we're going to do is we're going to mark the lowest point on the shoulder rest so we get it on the right side of our violin so what I like to do is I just buy these like dollar store stickers and um, there's some cute stars is what I have today and I'm just going to attach a star right here to the edge of my shoulder rest. So I know this is the lowest point and this needs to go on the right side of the violin. We're not going to put a star on this side so I know this is the highest point and it's going to go on the left side of the violin. Okay, so now let's take our violin. And what we're going to do is we have our chin rest, which is this guy right here where our chin rests on. And we have our non-chin rest side. We're going to take the star part and we're going to attach it to the nine, the non chin rest side. So we're going to take the feet, slide it right there, then take the other side and just gently slide on. If the feet comes off like this guy does, which is very common, we're just going to attach it, slide a little farther this way, slide a little farther this way until it's fully attached. You don't want to force it on, but it shouldn't fall off easily either. Okay. So now we have the star side with the non-shoulder rest side, the non-star side with the shoulder rest side. This is really important because if we get it on backwards, it's not going to work. All right, now we're going to test it and see if we put it in the right spot. And based on your shoulder size, your neck size, you're going to have to kind of adjust it and customize it for your own comfort. So feel free to move this around as much as you want. Um, so we're going to try it, and what we're going to do is we're going to look straight at, um, straight ahead, and we want to have the violin fit right underneath our chin. We don't want our shoulder hanging out this way. We don't want to have our neck turned this way. We don't want it down like this, just nice and straight. So mine, as you can see, is a little bit too far this way, and I'm hanging my head this way and it's actually really uncomfortable. So we're gonna adjust it. We're gonna move the shoulder rest this way. We're gonna move this this way and you just kind of have to play around with it until you find a space that's comfortable for you. All right, that feels much better. I'm looking straight ahead. My neck isn't hanging this way. I can easily hold my violin underneath my chin while still talking without holding my violin up at all. This is really, really important. So spend some quality time getting your shoulder rest in the right spot. Now that we have it in the right spot, a good idea is to mark this, but we don't want to mark it permanently because we don't want to ruin our violin. So get those same 
dollar store stickers. I like stars. And we're going to put stickers on each spot. So I'm going to put two on the one side to mark where the feet go, just like that. And then every time I put my violin shoulder rest on, I just line up the feet to the stickers. On the other side here, we're going to do three stickers. One on each side of the feet and one in the middle here to remind us that this is the sticker side so the sticker in the middle matches, as you can see. This makes getting ready to play and play every day much, much faster because you just simply slide your shoulder rest on, put it next to the stickers, you're good to go. Okay, now, when we hold our violin, we already established that we need to be able to hold it with our chin. Our left hand is always the hand that we use to play the violin with. It doesn't matter if you're left-handed or right-handed, you're always going to use your left hand to play and your right hand to bow. So with our left hand, we want to think about just having a nice natural straight line. So when we lift our hand up, it needs to be nice and straight like this. What the majority of beginner students like to do is this, pancake hand. Not a good look, we're not a waitress. So we want to have a nice straight hand, not this hand. Also, the tendency is to want to hold the violin with this hand. Hence, we do this to hold onto the violin, but we have to hold the violin with our chin. We can't hold our violin like this, so it's not gonna work. So, put the violin up underneath your chin, then simply slide your hand up and have a nice straight line. Now, your thumb can go right in between your two finger tapes. I recommend when you purchase your instrument, purchase it from a high quality luthier or music store locally or online and make sure that they're able to put the finger tapes on for free. A good high quality instrument is going to be above the $300 range, but it's going to create a much better sound. You get a lot bang, more bang for your buck long term and you won't have to spend as much in repairs because your instrument won't fall apart as quickly. So. If you want, you could put a star right here in between your two tapes to remind yourself where your thumb goes. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna put a star right in between my two fingers and then let's practice putting our violin up. So it's gonna go up underneath our shoulder rest and then we have a nice straight wrist here. Our thumb attaches right here and again, we're always holding the violin with our chin, not with our hand.